How's it going guys? Victor, V-Man TV here, and I'm just going to do a short little video on the Battlefield 5 open beta. Alright, I've been gathering my thoughts, I've been thinking about this, I know pretty much everyone's put out their beta impressions video already, but I don't care, someone's going to watch this, hopefully you're that person who actually will get a little bit of value out of my opinion here. So the main issue, let's just go jump, jump right into it, the main issue I have with the game, with what they're building, is the weapon upgrade and progression system all right it's it's pretty freaking bad at this point in time it's very very grindy um but that's not the main problem i have with it the main problem i have okay is that you actually need to use grind currency currency that you earn by playing the game doing assignments you use that currency not only to unlock cosmetic items for your guns which is fine but upgrades as well all right and these cosmetics that we're talking about that the grind currency is used some of the cosmetics actually bleed over into the territory of upgrades and i'm talking about sites here when you when you add a site to a gun that is technically an upgrade but they're treating it as a cosmetic in this game and you also get different rarities like common uh, rare and whatever and I think that's just different um, different visual customizations to the existing sites that you already get so they do give you a common version of all the sites you can get so it's not really an upgrade because you know everyone gets it but then if you want like a night op site or um, green sprayed site let's say uh, you have to you have to spend currency to unlock that or do other assignments within the game all right that's not the worst system in the world the main problem i have is that when you actually go to the weapon upgrade tree is that you need to use your same cosmetic grind currency to upgrade your weapons and these are pure upgrades they're not side grades they're pure pure upgrades all right so i and i've been thinking about this a lot i understand why they can't have all these upgrades as uh let's say attachments for the weapon it's world war ii it's not modern so there's not actually space on a lot of these weapons to add a lot of these attachments uh that would that would provide the upgrade that the upgrades are saying um so i you know i can understand the design choice there but what i don't understand is why make it why make unlocking these linked to grind currency okay that's the big issue here if if you if you want to make the unlock trees if you want to make upgrades and you can't have like weapon attachments be the upgrades like i have no problem with saying that you've upgraded this gun like your your gun will recoil better because you as a soldier are so used to using this gun that you can you can effectively use your skills and i know it's not an rpg but it's fine Let's, let's throw in this little RPG element, element because they're trying anyway and they're not doing it in a clear way that makes sense. So let's throw in this RPG element. You've used this gun for so many hours, whatever, you've killed 50 people with it, therefore you're skilled enough to reduce the horizontal recoil on it. All right, let's just say. So level up that, that part of the skill tree. Use experience to do it because you do have levels. So why not the why doesn't why don't we link the experience that's uh, that's part of the leveling system to your weapon upgrades? That would, in my opinion, be great. But no, we're linking your weapon upgrades first. You have to upgrade them first. You have to make the upgrades unlockable by using the weapon, and then you still have to spend your grind currency to unlock that upgrade to to lock in that upgrade and that means that i really have to choose now between my weapon performing well and looking cool and that's it's unacceptable it's stupid i hate it i hate that design and it just makes it feel like i'm gonna be grinding so long just to get the kind of just to get the setup i want i'm gonna have to play the game for 60 hours 100 hours you know 200 hours who knows and yeah, to me, that's just, um, that really breaks the game for me. I really hate that. Um, just not to have this video be completely negative. And this is something that everyone agrees on. The gameplay is good. The gunplay is fantastic. It's probably the best it's ever been in Battlefield. And really, that that is because of the 
uh, recoil system, the unique re recoil that each gun has. They've also improved and refined the ballistics, so your 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 bullets will hit objects in front of the muzzle instead of just uh, if the muzzle is actually behind that object, instead of just your sight being over it, the bullet goes through the middle of the screen. They've actually dialed that system in and works really, really great. So it like grounds you in your player's shoes and, and grounds you behind the gun. You actually feel like you're, uh, you're controlling a weapon rather than just clicking what's in the middle of your screen. Uh, so that's cool. And... Also, the movement of the player, the way you can dive, the way you can backpedal, crawl on your back, all that, it's really great. Um, also, just a lot of the new team play mechanics that they've added. I mean, we don't need to go into full detail because I'm sure you guys have, have seen it and, and, and watched many, many, many videos on it. But really just uh, the, the fact that you really, to perform well in the game and perform well as a squad, you really need to have a balanced squad. You need to have a medic. You need to have... Uh, you need really to have a good squad. You need to have a medic and you need to have a support. Your medic's going to keep topping you up with health. Your support's going to keep topping you up with ammo. And as much as that was the case in previous battlefields, like that still existed, it's it's more refined now. It's actually a little bit more hardcore, I would like to say. Whereas if your squad members aren't doing their jobs, you really do feel it in the game. So it forces squad play uh, a, a lot more. Um, but what tends to happen as well is because those classes are, are a lot weaker in terms of their guns, there's not so many options for guns for those classes. A lot of people will tend to just choose assault or sniper. So I would like to see some more, some more buffs in the gun area of medic and support just to make them more viable um, so that more people choose to actually play those classes and will hopefully play them well. Uh, but other than that, those are my main. Uh, that's my main feedback on the beta. Really, I think I've covered all my feelings in, in as a concise way as possible. Uh, I spoke about the negatives a little bit longer than the positives, but I think that's important. It's important to get that progression uh, right. Um, my biggest fear is that when the game launches, if it launches in this in the state, obviously, okay. One more thing before we go on to this last topic is the bugs. There's a lot of bugs. I don't need to cover each one, but they have to be fixed. Um, and but so my main worry is really if the game launches with a microtransaction system, whereas you can actually buy in-game currency, the same currency that you use for upgrades and cosmetics. I'm going to be a little bit upset that uh, gun upgrades cost that currency. I don't care if, if cosmetics cost that currency. I think that's actually a good idea. They should definitely do that. It's going to help them make money and keep the game going. But don't make gun upgrades cost even a cent of that currency. And very wisely so, they didn't make getting a second gun cost currency. Keep that. It shouldn't. Just take it out of the menu. Don't let it say zero there. Even that zero there is cutting it too close. And it, it pisses me off and it's going to piss a lot of people off. So that's all I have to say. Freaking, I hope, uh, I'm sure Dice, no one at Dice is going to watch this video, but if you do, this is one random dude on the internet's comments and takes, and uh, I really hope you take it into account because I think uh, the potential for a really great game is here. Uh, I just wouldn't, I, I would hate to see it ruined by uh, just a really unrewarding uh, progression system. So, or rather frustrating progression system, we could say as well. It's like you have to choose between visuals and upgrades. It's it's silly. But anyways, uh, that's all from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you again in the next one. Please don't forget, I also stream on Twitch now. So check the link in the description. Maybe I'll put a link on the screen as well. Go follow and visit my Twitch channel while I'm live. I'll be doing a lot of gameplay music making, make some freaking metal. You know how it goes. All right, guys, have a good one. That's all from me. Uh, and cheers for now. Peace.